Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful spring flower earrings. I made them with 6mm bugles and with 80 seed beads. That's all you're going to need. So if you like them and you're new here, it's a good idea to subscribe and check out my next upcoming videos. And if you want to support me and make me do more videos, please uh, like, share and comment. And I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be really happy to see your creations. So now I'm going to start. Okay, so for this video, what you're going to need are 6mm bugle beads, 8 o beads in three colors, red, green and yellow, and I'm using um, ear wires and two jump rings. And here I will use a needle size 12, but it's not a beading needle, because I will use um, thicker thread this time. This one is 0 0.25 millimeters and not the usual 0 0.15 or 0 0.006 that I use because uh, this time I need a thicker thread. So I'm using normal ordinary needle here and not a beading one because when I squeeze this thread with my flat nose pliers it goes through size 12 ordinary needle uh, but it can't go through a beading one and of course I will need scissors so now I'm going to start by taking about 4 feet of thread which is 1.2 meters of thread and I'm going to start okay and now I have my thread on my needle and um, in order to put it here I had to squeeze the end with my flat nose pliers Okay, and now I'm going to start. And I will start by taking six yellow atos. Okay, I have six of them. And now I'm gonna uh, slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and I will make a knot here. Okay, this time I prefer to make an ordinary knot and not a surgeon's knot because my thread is thicker this time. Okay, so I will go through a few beads here. Okay. Now I'm going to start adding my bugles, okay? I'm taking a bugle bead and I'm sliding it down. Then I need a green HO. I'm also sliding this down and then I will skip it and go back through the bugle. This is what I do. In fact, you could do uh, this pattern uh, without uh, needle but it will be really more difficult I tried it without needle it's really difficult to be done that's why I decided to use a needle here okay now I'm sliding the second one down and I'm doing the same thing I'm skipping this green one and going back through the bugle this way I'm fixing the bugle beads to stay in this direction, okay? And of course, since I'm doing this in circle, I will repeat this six times in total. And now I already did three times, so I will do this three more times.
OK, and now I'm ready. My next step will be to go again. I'm exiting out of this yellow one and I will go again through this bugle bead and through the next red one, just like that. This, uh, sorry, to the next green one. And I'm pulling, okay? Now I'm exiting of the green one. And my next step will be the following, okay? I will take a green, then I will take four yellows. Four of them, and I will take one red, okay? This is what I have on my needle. And I'm going to slide this down. Now, my next step will be to go in circle through all of my yellow beads here, okay? Only through the yellows, and I'm gonna exit here at this red one. And then I'm going to pull. And I will pull a little bit to the center because here I want to form a flower of beads. Okay, and I need three more yellow beads. And this is what I have. And now with my three yellows, I'm going back through this yellow as well. Okay. And I'm pulling. Now this is what I have. And back through the next two yellows. And through the next one. Okay. Then you see my middle bead here wants to pop up from one side. And I prefer to push it this way. Okay. Then my next step will be to take one green bead on my needle and sorry and I'm going through the next green one. Okay. Just like that. And now this is what I have. I have my first flower ready, okay? Then I'm going to repeat the same step five more times and I'm gonna show you again. Okay, I'm taking a green one, then I'm taking one, two, three, four yellows and I'm taking a red one. So this is what I have. I'm sliding all of those down. Then again, from the inner side, the side that's in the center, to the center, I'm going through the, those four yellows. And what I do next is that I pull. Okay, I'm pulling. Then I'm taking three more yellows. And I'm going back through this yellow again. Okay, like that. And my bead pop ups from this side, pops up from this side. Okay, so now I will go through my next beads and I'm gonna exit here. So you see. I have four beads from here and three to the center of my work, okay? And I'm taking one more green bead and I'm going through the next green one. And what I do is that I pull. So this is what I have here. And I'm going to show you one more time and then I will let you do it by yourself. Okay, I'm taking a green one. And then I'm taking four yellow. One red. And I'm sliding all of them down. 
Okay, then I'm going back through these four yellow beads here. Okay, just like that. Then I will take three more yellow. Going back through this last one here. And now you see what I have. Then I will go through the next three beads, okay, through these two and through the one that follows okay, and I need a green one to finish this okay and now I have my three flowers ready and I will continue doing this and meet you here guys if you forgot how I did it just rewind this video and you will see the steps and you will be able to finish the full circle so I'll be back in a minute okay guys and here I am where I should add my last green one okay and I'm going through the next two greens here okay and when I pull, I have this, okay? Now, I'm gonna go one more time around all of my beads here in circle just to make an even tension between them. Okay, I will go around all of my circle here to make them stay in the same direction, okay? Okay guys, and now I made my full circle and now my flower sit uh, great, okay? I like the way they sit, okay? So now I'm going to take two atos and as I'm exiting from this green one, I will go in circle through this middle bead here. Okay, just like that. Then I'm gonna repeat this one more time. Okay, now I'm exiting of this yellow bead and what I need to take is one uh, red bugle, then one yellow, one red bugle, one yellow, one red bugle, one yellow, and I'm going to finish with a bugle bead here. Okay, and this is what I have on my needle. Then I'm going back through this bead here. Okay, now I'm going to use my pliers just like that. And when I pull, when I pull, I have this, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is go one more time through this green one in the center, pull tight, and then go back through this uh, rhombus here, okay? I'm going through this one, okay? 
then I'm gonna go to the center of my work and here what I want to do is exit out of this yellow one and I'm going to take three yellows just like that and one red bead I'm going to slide them down then I'm going back through all of my four yellows I'm skipping the red one okay I'm not going through the red one then I will pull in this direction and I'm going to take three more yellow beads okay now this is what I have this is what I have here now what I want to do is one more time go back through this bugle and back down through this yellow one okay then through the next yellow and go back to, to your flower at the top okay then I will go in circle through all of my beads here and I'm gonna exit at the top between those two yellows and here what I want to do is that I want to add one red bead And it will stay in this direction then I'm gonna make some knots here and cut my thread okay guys and now when I made some knots here and cut my thread this is what I have and now what I want to do is attach my jump rig here and my ear wire okay and I'm gonna do this by taking my pliers opening up my jump ring and now I'm going to take my earring and put on my ear wire and what I do is that I will squeeze back this jump ring here okay and now my earring is ready okay guys so now my earrings are ready I just want to tell you one more thing sometimes there is an even tension uh, through the beads and if you are a loose beader uh, probably you should uh, take a beading needle and a thread and go one more time all around your flowers and around the edges to make your earrings look uh, completely flat and uh, don't have problems with uh, the beads moving up and down so that's my final advice and um, don't forget to subscribe uh, and if you want to make me do more videos like this please uh, like uh, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and if you make these beautiful earrings please share a picture of them on my Facebook page that I posted below uh, this video and down there you could find a full list of materials thank you so much for watching bye bye